Well, Karen Bernardi here with the Bernardi Group at Caldwell Banker in beautiful Boulder, Colorado. And wow, what an interesting time we're going through. And so we've started this series called Homegrown. As of today, 17 million people have lost their jobs. That's crazy. I mean, it's just so unbelievable to me. It's so unbelievable to me, but it's also it's unbelievable all the lives that have been lost as well. I mean, it's just an awful time right now. It's so, an awful time, of course. Yeah. And I can't do anything about the lives that were lost, but I can maybe bring some inspiration to the world with people yeah. like you that have started their own businesses. So for today, we're talking to Cheryl, Sherry Lydic, and I love the name of your company, which is No Brainer, K-N-O-W brainer i love it it is so fabulous because yes. believe me at the almost age of 65 i want something that'll help my brain yes we all do and your skin and your beauty well you already i think you're taking very good care of yourself by well the way. thank you Thank you very much. I try. So anyway, that's what we're doing here today is trying to bring a little inspiration to people and say, you know, you're stuck at home. Maybe you've lost your job. Maybe you want to take this opportunity to start a homegrown business. And you started this business from home, right? Yes. So this is our second business. Can I tell you my story? Please. I want you to. That's the whole thing. I do here. think it is an inspiration. Um, so I was diagnosed with MS after my third son was born. Um, I took a flu shot and within 24 hours, he was six months feeling great. I literally was running, hiking, but I took a flu shot and within 24 hours, I could not feel my hands. And so I went on a, a strictly, I did everything. I tried um, conventional medicine and this is good for everyone to hear at home too and trying to battle and trying to, you know, be safe and um, support our immune systems. So I did try conventional medicine. It did not work for my body. So I turned to raw foods. And when I turned to raw foods, my whole body started coming back to me. And I literally, I wasn't able to walk. I wasn't able to use my hands. Um, and I started a company, Two Moms in the Raw. You might remember that from the farmer's market. We also sold coconuts. I do I remember that. Of that idea. I was the coconut lady. We cut off the coconuts and gave you a coconut with a straw. And that was a huge company. We grew that um, to almost 10 million over about 12 years. And we exited that company in 2016. And it was not the exit everybody wanted. We started with um, uh, Justin's at the farmer's market. So it wasn't that kind of exit. So I was forced, you know, just like we all are now, trying to figure out how to how are we going to do things and make a difference. Um, I needed to keep going on. And it's always about my health. And I've always been using keto elements in my health, and I didn't even know it. And the fact that I would do some intermittent fasting, I would break my fast with fats and protein, not sugar. Um, and so I saw that this keto movement was going on. It was really complex and difficult. So no brainer, we came out with a really convenient solution, which is with these little packets. I have them right here. Um, I should I hope had so. no we want you to show us those. Yeah. So we, I, you break your fast with this. I use the case in a lactose free because I don't do dairy. So no brainer is great. It's for uh, case and lactose free, you know, folks and for full dairy. I break my fast in the morning with this. I then eat around noon and oh, I have all my products. I really didn't know we were talking about all this. So um, the, the point is, is that you nourish your brain and your metabolism with healthy fats and protein so that your body and mind are working at its best. And that's how we're meant to live. We're not meant to break our fast with a blueberry muffin or a croissant. We're meant to break our fast with fats, and that way we train our body to use fat for fuel. Because this is really important. This is, there is an endless reservoir of fat. There's not an endless reservoir of sugar. That's why you crash. And that's that why. That is so great. So when I come home from a long run in the morning, I eat blueberries and yogurt. And that's and great. I should be doing this. Yes, you should be doing this because to, the longevity comes from tapping into the fat we have, not the sugar. Because when you when you use shat, sh shat, when you use sugar for energy, you actually store fat, and that's when oh, we're unhealthy. I know. It's well, crazy. love the product. Show us your other one, and then tell us, okay, how did this come about? So we're really excited. We came out with a whole zero sugar confection line, and we fuel this with collagen, MCT oil, and prebiotic fiber. 
So I'm going today. I am a believer. I am oh, going yeah. today. Vanilla, I mean, this is our cinnamon toast. Not everybody likes cinnamon. I happen to love the mint chip, but we have classic vanilla. We have a burnt caramel, which is delicious. And we have a golden milk, which is the best thing anybody could eat. And we also are coming out with a zero sugar caramel. So our point is get the sugar out of your diet and bring in the proteins and the fats and you will be healthy. And we've made a whole business out of this. We're about to get into, we are, we shipped our stuff to CVS already. We've shipped our stuff to Walmart. We're exploding online. And it's because we really are committed to this. You do not have to worry about sugar when you buy from No Brainer. And just while I have your ear, if that's okay, because I know we only have a few minutes, um, I've, I've partnered with about five, three or four other companies in the area, and we're actually doing curbside pickup or delivery. So you can get products like glute, the best gluten-free breads, um, yogurt dips, not, you know, all of them are low carb, really healthy boulder bake, which is this great, uh, mix of, uh, gluten-free products. So we're trying to, that's another thing that we could do right now while we're quarantined. We're actually partnering with one another because we're stronger together and um, how we can help each other and the community. That is such a great idea. I love it. I so I love, I'm so actually, it. with this coronavirus thing, you said, hey, let's actually make something good out of this. And we're taking the, the profits and we're actually donating parts of those profits because we are small, you know, we're not making oodles of money yet, but we are taking a large portion of that profit and giving it back to the COVID relief fund. Oh, so you can thank find you all so that information much. on our websites. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. We'll have your website at the bottom and all your contact information. Okay, great. I'll update my website for all the information. Yeah, please. Now, so you were about to tell me, so you got this idea, you realized that you were in the keto land, which is very popular right now. Yes. So you alone, or you and your husband, or you and your family, or you and your former partners, how'd you start this? How would a person starting at home very little cash. How would they get this something like this? How going? would they get this idea? That's a really good question. With two moms in the raw, it was really just me. I went into my kitchen. My husband, nobody was following me on my raw path. So I made some raw granolas and he joined me. In this instance, because we've been in the industry so long, I had met people who were in the research and development industry. And they sort of had these ideas of, of with these little pack, creamer packets, which we've had to optimize because the R&D just wasn't there yet. And so we, we sort of put our heads together and we thought we can make this better and better. They have since left the picture because the, the, the R and D, and this is, a, this is trials and tribulation. The R and D wasn't there with these people. Right. So Greg and I had to put our heads together and figure out what we needed to do with these packets so they could work. You and Greg, Greg, your husband. It's my husband. So okay, I'm on the CEO and founder. He helps me with all the operations. Now with Max Mallow, we, um, I hired uh, Mish Bakker to help me create products um, for actually another company. But in my mind, behind, back of my mind, I always knew I wanted a marshmallow. And she's so genius. We work together and she helped me create the Max Mallow. And she's actually now a part of No Brainer. So that's another way to make things work. You, people can't work in a vacuum. And it's not, it's, it's okay to share, right? It's okay to grow together. And so that's kind of how we do it. I mean, I have a designer. Well, we all need food and there are a lot of different types of food that we need. So you may as well help each other. Exactly, we could help each other, but building a business, nobody has to be alone. You know, I have no problem giving parts of my business to people that I know can help me. Like my designer, she's been with me from the beginning. I'm not a designer. I mean, I've done all the marketing material for these little bags and for all of our no-brainers. But um, I need somebody to help me design Max Mallow. And I need somebody. So I brought her in. And I brought Misha in because she's amazing in the kitchen. So I just think I think at this time, there's no reason to be in a vacuum. Even though we're separate, we can still work together. Interesting, because that's what the Bernardi Group is. We're a team of people that work together. And I'm not so good at you know, certainly the social media and the marketing and all of that. Exactly. I have a person that does that. I have a person that writes my ads and I review them. I certainly don't do the photos and do the Photoshop. I can't do that, but I can sell. It sounds like that's what you do at your company. Really. Yes, I do the marketing and the sales. And I also have a young girl that's helped me with the social media. Because when I was doing it, my kids thought I <laughs> you should look at, you'll see what I did. And then you'll see when somebody who knows what they're doing did it. So, oh. um, 
Yeah, How lovely. Important. So let's talk just a minute about, you know, the two moms in the raw and then their transition into this. Have you had to sink a lot of your own money into it? Yes. Or have you had other capital or other investors? We have, have a couple of, we have a little bit from family and friends, uh, but Greg and I, we have continuously sunk our money into this great brand. We really believe it. And, you know, at times in the beginning where we're like, well, maybe we should work for somebody else or maybe we should do so. Then we get an email from somebody that, oh my God, my diabetes is turned around. Oh my God, you saved my life. Oh my goodness. My child is actually going through a whole day of school without falling asleep. My son's epilepsy is gone. You know what? Uh, we have a, a caffeine marshmallow called lightning vanilla. People are using that instead of Ritalin for their, you know, their brains. I'm not a doctor, but I'm just letting you know, food does heal. And those things keep us going. So we wow. are, yeah, it's just- How lovely. So, I mean, I don't know. It sounds like, um, do you have family members men, that, are, that are working with you other than your husband? Oh, well, my three children are in the kitchen weekly. Um, but we had to we had to let go a lot of staff, right? Because we, mm. we are really careful on who is coming in and out of that kitchen. Everyone's wearing masks. Everyone's wearing gloves. Nobody's going anywhere but home to the kitchen, kitchen to home. And my children are going weekly, um, every week to the kitchen to help out. I have children 15 to 21. So so that you had to let go of staff and then have your kids come in and help you so that yes. it was a safer environment. Exactly. A controlled environment. A controlled environment because we're not taking any risks. With this. No, of course. So no, yeah. we are trying not to do that. That's definitely yeah. I'm sure real estate is kind of might be difficult, right? With showing homes or well, it yeah. But we've had other ways like you to adapt and you know make it work with virtual tours and being very, very, very safe. Oh, you know, that's so great. It, that's the most important thing is that we all you know get through this and be safe. Exactly. So a couple of other questions. Yeah. What about your background? Now you had the first food company. And then what did you do? What from your background gave you the inspiration or whatever? And, and then the second part of that question is on these days that we all have that you are down and you think this is a struggle because when we started business, it is 20 hours a day. It's really 24. And you wake up thinking gonna, about it, you go to sleep thinking about exactly. it, and you dream about it. Great questions. So, so how do you keep yeah. yourself inspired? Um, well, first of all, it was out of necessity. I mean, I, I needed my body back. I needed to be a mom and a wife. And the only way I could do it was taking health in my own hands. And so two moms in the raw was, I mean, I created these products. People love them in my, my kids' schools. And next thing I know, the farmer's market asked us to be there. So it was a very organic growth. No brainer was a little different. Um, we took everything we learned with, with, um, two moms and we applied it to no brainer. We keep making mistakes, but that's part of life. But you know, with all this e-commerce, which is interesting with the quarantine, we created a product that's perfect for e-commerce and we will continue to do so. We don't need refrigeration. We can easily ship anywhere in the world. So that was always in our mind. And what keeps me going is, is my health and needing to take care of my family. Because you know, starting a business is so freaking hard. And it, it, it maxes out every, all of your money, everything goes in. And people think it's just, you know, with two moms, oh, you were so lucky. No, it was so much hard work. And I mean, I feel like doors opened and opened and opened with that one. And no brainer, you know, we won pitch slams right away and we were so recognized right away, but we got a lot of no's too, right? Um, so the, we just focus on the one yes and we go with it. And, um, but I do think it's my health that kind of keeps me going. and the need to provide for my family. And well, if, if it's any example of your products that you have MS, you're using your own products, and I haven't talked to a person with this much energy. energy. I know. I know. We we know. You are doing great. I mean, you are a testament to your products. Is are there anything you else you would like to add that you think, well, this could, you know, help somebody that is, you know, wanting to do a home business, struggling with it, having some doubts? Tell me what you'd like to add. You know what? I think there are so many resources out there that I didn't realize with two moms in the raw. Um, we were sort of, uh, it was very different back then, right? I mean, you know, you would, you'd go sell door to door at stores, right? Now you literally can create a product and go sell it on Amazon and get immediate feedback and find out what's going on. Just find out the right keywords, put it up there. Um, the other thing I think is really important is learning how to disrupt. 
you know, we're not just another creamer. We're not just another marshmallow. We're actually creating products that disrupt the industry. So if people are at home thinking about something, think about how you're going to disrupt something because nobody needs another, you know, teacup, you know, but well, what about that teacup? You know, you have to figure out how to, how you're disrupting so that people see, uh, have that aha moment because you might not be everything to everyone, but when you're a lot really important, something to a few people, those few people tell other people, they tell more people. And I mean, it grows from there. So there is tremendous opportunity right now, you know, with subscription boxes, Amazon, there are so many ways to get your products in front of people that I think it's a, an amazing time right now. Right. I, I do. Such a great piece of advice. And I will tell you that we were a bit of a disruptor, you know, in that I work as a team. You know, I mean, I definitely have specialists in every area of the transaction. And that wasn't popular years ago. It wasn't ago. back then. It wasn't at all. Now people are doing it more, but not to the level we are, where it's very specific, organized team where we all share in the profits. And that was a disruptor in the real estate industry. People were, when I was first at, you know, another company years ago, they wouldn't let my assistants use the copier. Are you kidding me? No, and they wouldn't speak to people in the hallways because they were, what are you, you're just an assistant. No, they were licensed, but they were in a different aspect of the real estate transaction. So I understand when you are a disruptor too, you know, maybe it doesn't happen so favorably for you and you've got to, you know, with your, comp with your competitors, that's a good sign. No, that's a really good sign. And that's you know, a really good and sign. You can and you have to have, and you know, listen, I'm older too. I mean, I was in my thirties when I started two moms. I'm now in my fifties. Um, and I, you get to a certain place where you're like, Oh, you know what? This is the way it is. And this is how we're doing things. So you're right. And I think it comes with age too, doesn't it? Like just being comfortable with the way you do things. Well, there are certain things, you know, you certainly want uh, people to, you know, have respect, admiration. You want them to, you know, look in a favorable light towards you, but I can't always be true to myself and please others. And please everybody. No, 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 no. And when you're building a business, I always tell this to my husband, like the ego has to stay at the door. What is best for the business? Um, and that's what we have to decisions we have to make because that will keep us from growing. Um, and, and, yes, and just what's best for my customers, what's best for my exactly, customers. Exactly. And I think that's really important when you're starting a business uh, for everyone to kind of keep in the back of their mind. It is right there in the forefront. What's best for the customer. doesn't matter if I think this is a good idea, whatever. Exactly. Is it a good idea? Does it work better for them? And your packaging. I mean, I think that's really important since you're talking to a CPG brand. I mean, our packaging, you know, it just jumps off the shelf. You know, our, this is, we came from here to here. Like we're always evolving. So the point is, is that if you're going to create something, make sure it speaks to the consumer. And so they and understand. You are that. really amazing. Oh my gosh. Thank you so You're very much. Thank I you. cannot tell you what a pleasure. Give us a reminder again where we can find you. The Now we will have your website at the bottom, you know, that of the screen so people will find yes. you easily. But just tell us again in case they're listening by car or something. Oh, great. Well, we are going to be all over in CVS. We're going to be in Walmart. Um, but you can also find us on online, on Amazon, on our website, on Thrive. Max Mallow is sort of making its way to like many, many independents. Um, but I think with this e-commerce thing, you know, we sort of take our time with the brick and mortar now. Um, so yeah, just visit mynobrainer.com. You can plug in your zip code and you can find a location near you as well and i'll make sure for that curbside delivery i will make sure that i i put the press release on my home page so that um, people can get it because nobody's taking advantage of it in boulder guys you will have the best products in town and all you have to do is open the trunk and we'll put them in your back of your car oh i can't yeah. wait to see i will be ordering i promise I you do. you're such a sweetheart Oh, thank, thank you. you, Sherry, with No Brainer. What a pleasure this has been. What and what a pleasure. pleasure. And we will definitely keep in touch. I hope so. Oh, yes. Thank All you right. so take much. Take it and be safe. Take care. I shall. You be safe as well. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.